Yo, what's good guys? It's depressed Dairy Queen employee or Luna here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. FYI, I don't work at Dairy Queen. That was just a requested intro in one of my comments. I think the dude that commented that might work at Dairy Queen. Just a guess. But yeah, guys, today's story time, in my opinion, is a pretty funny one, pretty insane one. I thought you guys would enjoy it. And let's just jump right into today's story time. So this story time takes place back in 2016. There was a festival coming to my hometown, and all my friends were going to it. It was a big music festival. In 2016 specifically, my town had a bunch of music festivals that year. I'm not sure why. We haven't really had a lot since then. My hometown is kind of a boring place sometimes. It's also not the most populated place, so people don't really pick us to have festivals at usually but sometimes they do and 2016 was one of those years i'm sure a lot of you can relate to that like music artists not coming to your guys' cities or like festivals and stuff but anyway yeah there was a festival in 2016 there was a few artists there that i was excited to see and my friends all wanted to go and they invited me to get a place with them nearby like an airbnb and i was down for that i was like yeah why not let's do it so fast forward to the time of the festival we rented an airbnb we drove an hour out there got to our airbnb unpacked our stuff and it was time to just enjoy the weekend, basically. And I was stoked. Like, there was a lot of cool things happening this weekend. I was just really, really excited. But there was one thing specifically that I was worried about. One person came with us to this festival who I was really worried about. He was, um, let's just say, not always the brightest thinker. Now, I'm not calling him stupid. He wasn't stupid by any means. He just didn't always think, to say the least, okay? And when we get to the Airbnb, he pulls out this baggie out of his suitcase, and it has some mushrooms in it. And he goes, yo, I'm gonna bring these to the festival tomorrow. And I was like, yo, I think that's a terrible idea. He's like, what do you mean, man? Like, why is that a bad idea? I'm like, bro, this is one of the most secure festivals, like, I know of. Out of all the festivals my city ever had, this one had insanely high security. Like, there was metal detectors, and they would pat you down if anything came up on the metal detector. And I don't know, I was just worried. I really thought that he would get searched, and they would find those. So I was pretty worried about it, but he was like completely confident that he would be fine. He's like, bro, you're just stressing. Like, don't worry about it. I'm not going to get dinged with a metal detector. And even if I do, I'll put them somewhere where they won't feel them. And I was like, that's just gross. But okay, like, where are you going to put them? He's like, don't worry about it. I'm like, okay, that's just even worse. So yeah, immediately after he says that, half of my friends at the Airbnb are like, all right, bro, you're doing those on your own. Like, we're not eating those because we don't want your crotch rooms. That is not a fun pair of words. That sounds like a new STD or something. Sorry, sir, but you have crotch rooms. Just came back in your blood work. Gonna have to go to the hospital. Anyway, I'm getting distracted by the crotch rooms. My friends are all like, yo, that's all you, bro. Like, we're not doing those. And if you're gonna sneak those into the festival, like, you have to go in without us. Like, you gotta go in first or something. So fast forward to the next day. It was time to go to the festival. My friend got first in line ahead of us. He got through security fine. I really thought he was going to get caught, but he got in just fine. And then all my friends and me went up there. We got in all fine because we weren't sneaking anything in. So we get into the festival. We grab some water and we go into the crowd and we get pretty up close to the stage. And yeah, it was fun. Like the music was good. The band was good. We're just hanging out there listening to the music. And my friend starts to pull out this baggie and he starts pulling out the mushrooms and eating them. And none of us were doing it. Literally none of us. Just this one friend. And I'm like, yo, keep that like on the down low. Like it's still daytime. Like people can see this. And he's like, bro, don't worry. Like I'm good. There's no security over here. And right as he says that, I look behind his shoulder and there's a security guard right behind him walking up to us because we're like in a circle and it looks like we're doing something sketchy. And he walks up behind my friend and he sees the baggie and he's like, what is that? Give me that. And my friend goes, oh, oh, sorry, sir. Like, it's nothing. And this guy goes, you can't bring your own snacks in here. If you're going to get a snack, you have to buy it from one of the stands. This dude thought that they were like a snack that we brought from the Airbnb or something. And he takes the baggie out of my friend's hands and turns around and starts walking away. And I look at the back of his vest and it says police. I thought it would say security, but it said police. So I'm assuming this guy was a cop. So as he's walking away and he has this bag of mushrooms, he puts his hand into it and he starts dead ass eating one of them. I'm like, yo, look. And my friend goes, holy shit. And I'm just in shock. I'm like, how does this guy not know what he's eating? Like he's working at a music festival. This must not be the first time he's ever seen this or like heard about it. So anyway, he's walking away, and as much as I don't want to say anything, I can't let this dude eat these mushrooms thinking that they're just some snack. So I yell out. I'm like, hey, man. He turns around. He's like, what's up? I'm like, don't eat those. He's like, yeah, they taste funny. I was like, yeah, don't eat any more of them. He's like, why? I'm like, they're just not snacks. He's like, what do you mean? What are they? I was like, they're mushrooms, but not normal mushrooms. They make things happen. He's like, what are you talking about? 
And now I'm just really in shock. I'm thinking to myself, like, yo, this guy really has no idea. And he just goes, come with me, guys. I don't know what funny business you're up to, but come with me. So now I'm like, fuck, why did I even say anything? We're getting escorted to, like, the security tent now. Like, this isn't good. So me and all my friends get escorted to this big-ass tent with a bunch of security guards. And, like, medics are under it as well. And this guy goes, hey, guys, I got these kids from the crowd. They had this baggie with them. They were acting kind of funny about it. What is it? And he holds it up, and all the guards look at it. And one of them goes... Those are mushrooms, Jim. And he goes, yeah, I know, but like, what's so special about them? And he goes, you've never heard of mushrooms, Jim? And Jim goes, yeah, well, obviously, they're food. And he goes, no, Jim, these ones are, you know, trippy ones. How the hell are you going to work at a music festival and not know that, Jim? And Mr. Jim goes, I don't know. I just, I thought they were mushrooms. He goes, yeah, they are. They're just, you know, the trippy ones. And I start laughing. I couldn't hold it in anymore. Like, it was so funny. And then Jim goes, wait, what do you mean they're trippy? Like, they make you see things? And the other guard's like, yeah, Jim, like, they're mushrooms that make you trip. And Jim goes, I ate one of these. And he goes, well, why the hell would you do that? Why the fuck are you eating random things you get from people at the festival? And Jim goes, I don't know. I just want to see if they were good. And at this point, they completely forgot what was going on. They were just arguing back and forth. And I'm laughing so hard. And then one security guard, not Jim, not the one that grabbed us out of the crowd, looks at us and goes, listen, guys, you should know that it's wrong to bring this stuff into the festival. You know better. Like, you guys got to leave. And my friend steps up and goes, listen, I'm the one that brought those in. Like, they told me it was a bad idea. It's not their fault. Just kick me out, okay? And the guy goes, thank you for being honest, man. And the guy goes, listen, I'm just going to kick you out for the day, okay? You can come back tomorrow. We're not going to kick you out of the festival entirely. Like, you can come back tomorrow whenever you want. Just not today, okay? And I'm like, okay, that's fair. So me and all my friends leave. We go back to the Airbnb. We were in disbelief that the situation turned out the way that it did. We honestly thought that we were going to be, like, completely banned from the event. But, you know, we got kicked out for the day, which kind of sucked. But at the same time, like, there weren't even that many bands on day one that we wanted to see. So we were kind of excited to, like, not be kicked out for the rest of the festival because day two and three were way better anyway. So, yeah, that was pretty much it. Like, Jim, the security guard, didn't eat enough to trip, which is good. He didn't eat any more after that, hopefully. I don't know. Maybe he did. But everything seemed good in the end. Everything seemed fine. I think we were all good. And in the end, everybody was okay, and we got to go back to our festival the next day. But yeah, moral of this story is, is if you see a random bag of random food on the ground or given to you by somebody, don't eat it. Just don't. Don't be like Jim, the security guard slash police officer. I still don't know to this day what he was. His vest said police, but he looked like a security guard, so I have no clue. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this story time. If you did, please leave a like on the video. I'd really appreciate it. Feel free to leave your story times in the comments down below and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you all later. Peace.